Hello YouTube world, Fantastic back doing stuff and today I'm going to fix that saddle valve that goes to the ice maker on the refrigerator. Just spent over 200 bucks getting that thing fixed and the guy said it's never going to work until you fix that saddle valve. So I got a half inch pipe, there we go, half inch pipe up there. I'm actually going to get rid of the saddle valve and put, sorry for the movement, I'm going to put a T and I'm going to put, I'm going to connect this to the existing pipe up here. Then I'm going to put this connection to a valve, shark bite valve, and connect the refrigerator back to it. That's just screwdrivers. I don't plan on getting hurt, just screwdriver bucks. Uh, things I do have, got some pipe dope. Uh, the valve I was thinking about putting in up there, but since I don't have a live point, live, excuse me, low point, I don't think it'd do much good for me anyway, and a bucket to catch the water. I've already isolated the water, so hopefully not much is going to come out, but I always have a bucket just in case. Let me do a little bit of unscrewing on that saddle valve, and I'll do my first cut, and I'll get back with you. So I unscrewed here, unscrewed here, pulled up water started coming out pretty quick i screwed this back down in shoved it in because if you don't know saddle valve all it is is a little pin I, i'm gonna call it a pin that goes into the pipe and then to open it and close it just use that like normal righty tightsy lefty loosey water was coming out good so i went and shut the water off at the source apparently one of the valves i thought i had uh doesn't hold quite like I expected it to. So I don't have a well at this house. I have water coming from the road. I turned water off coming from the road and bada boom, nothing coming out. You can, you see it? Uh, I'll show you later on. Anyway, so obviously nothing's coming out now. I'm good. I'm gonna do some cuts, try this off, and get back. Here's where I'm at, here's where I'm at so far. Uh, this line right here that was taking a while to drain I went upstairs turned all the valves open I did everything I could to get it to drain the best I could uh, water really seemed like it stopped so just to help me I pushed up on this to keep the, the water back towards my right down that line and not even dripping out a little bit so that it wouldn't mess up the, the glue so I got that piece in now I'm going to put the T in, and before I put the T in, I plan on putting this little section inside the top of the T. Yeah, I did let my my son help me with uh, the primer, so it's a little bit messy. Anyway, I was wondering, or thinking, maybe no one's ever used one of these. This is for copper uh, piping, that's what I've used it for in the past. but. It does work on PVC. That's just dirt. Uh, now you can do use other things to cut this with, but this is just the way that I've done it, that I've been doing it. So you twist it, make it tight. Kind of hard with one hand. I'll eventually get it. You spin it. See how it's cutting. Spin it, bada boom. Now it's not that easy because I did cut and spin a few times before I put it on uh, video. But what you do is you, let me find that tool. You open it up to wherever you need it. Uh, these come in different sizes. This one is four eighth inch to seven eighths. And you put the pipe in those two rollers and this actually does the cutting. So you make it tight, right? You see it opening there? I can close it with that as well. You make it tight, do two, three evolutions, whatever you gotta do around, snug it up again, two or three turns around again, snugging it up, snug it up, two or three turns around again. We have a visitor. Rosie wants to come see what I'm doing with all this piping and making all this noise. 
spin it, spin it, spin it. And then eventually, like you saw at the very end, it just pop All right, well, I got two of the fittings in there so far. Uh, would have rather just been a little bit shorter, but I guess I should have done the math and everything before I put it on there instead of just putting it on and flying with it. So now to get this last piece of pipe in there, I'm going to measure this distance, the gap, okay? And this uh, insertion where the pipe's gonna go in the T, that's a half inch. And this is three quarters of an inch going inside there. So this distance plus a half plus three quarter, that's gonna get me the size pipe that I need to, I need to put in there. And a good thing is, if you see down here, it is loose. I mean, if I had to, I could pop that off at the end there and slide it back to me if I don't get it exactly right. Not that that's what I want to do. But what I'll do, I will pop these off to help bend this towards me probably so I can get the pipe in there without, you know, putting too much pressure, pressure on the new joints the new joint, I should say, because obviously I'm on a three quarter plus a half. That's an inch and a quarter. The pipe will be an inch and a quarter longer than the hole there. All right, I got it all together. One thing I did mess up on is this piece right here. That does not thread on like a coupling. It is attached inside this hose. So once I had all this together, then I had to cut that off and reattach the other shark bite clamp that I had. So I was planning on taking it back to Lowe's is where I got this stuff, but I guess now I, I bought it unless there's a way to take these off. I guess I'll have to YouTube that because I've never had to take one off before. Uh, one thing, when you cut this piece, cut it a little bit long because after I took these supports off that one down there so I could bend it and get it back in the hole get it in the hole uh, it didn't go in as far as I wanted it to so I don't have any leaks I did put extra glue you could tell kind of a crummy glue job there but I put it on there extra on purpose hoping that it would cover any holes that may arise from not having it in as far as I want I didn't get it in the half inch but I probably did get it in I don't know just just under that it's more than a quarter for sure so there you go there you have it dantastic doing stuff again